Sick building syndrome um, was identified in the 70s. They found that when new homes were, when, when new homes were built, um, new factory premises, um, they were finding that people were having a whole range of different symptoms. Um, headaches, nausea, uh, sometimes memory loss, many different aspects, but and some really quite unusual combinations, but it was difficult to nail down but it very soon became apparent that it was actually related to the building, the contents of the building, and potentially maybe smells or substances within those buildings. You can't just open a window and get the level down. And it's circulated between all levels as well often. Um, temperature, uh, humidity, barometric pressure, and they, they will all play a part in making those levels go up and down on a daily basis, almost hour by hour basis. What we've been working to do is to produce a, a product that allows uh, consultants to go into buildings, deploy instruments around those buildings and actually make a survey of the complete area. You can have, um, for instance, individuals carrying handheld instruments, which is traditionally a method of going around and monitoring levels of VOCs in a building. Mm. But the difficulty is, is that you've got a guy walking around office workers, if it's, a, if it's a live building, if it's a live office, office, office workers may well be a little bit concerned, intimidated maybe by somebody in, in get up with a kit. Um, uh, therefore that's I, not ideal. Then you've got other systems which are traditionally um, instruments that are, tend, to, tend to be used in industry but um, are maybe put on tripods in cases but again they look a little bit intimidating in an office environment. So what we've done with the Corvus product is it's a product that is not offensive to the eye. It, uh, it doesn't intrude in an office space. Um, you deploy it, you, um, there's a, a wireless network which allows the, all of the instruments to actually communicate to each other. Um, and so there's not lots of wires trailing everywhere. Um, and basically you get um, an entire raft of sensor readings. You have part per billion uh, PID, VOC readings. Um, you have temperature, relative humidity and barometric pressure all in one product. So you don't have many instruments hanging about the place. Um, you have individual instruments uh, but they're all communicating with each other um, and they will give you minute by minute updates on those levels which uh, then allows you to actually almost be able to see an entire level of VOCs and collect that information so you actually see maybe waves of VOCs moving throughout a building uh, because that can help if there's a, some cleaning going in at one end, you'll actually see a migration of gases along that building. Yeah, mon monitoring VOCs is a, a bit of a, a complex business. Uh, there's different levels and different aspects to it really. Um, one is the fact that uh, many PIDs on the market are actually affected by humidity quite heavily. Um, so the Iron Science product has the benefit um, that it, in effect it has our fence electrode technology which pretty well does away with the, the moisture level because that can uh, affect the signal quite considerably by sometimes several ppm even when there are no VOCs present. So it looks like a sort of a false signal. So our solution to sick building syndrome is the Corvus. Um, relatively small, um, unobtrusive in a, an office environment. Um, very simple device. Um, no display, specifically really to um, avoid office workers being concerned about numbers. It can be, you know, it might, we don't want to cause anybody any worries. Simple device, uh, USB on the side here, um, uh, single power supply, and that's it. Everything else is wireless. Um, settings can be transmitted. Uh, you have a master, and you have up to 20 slaves in a group. Um, you transmit settings, start and stop signals, all from this one instrument, and they get transmitted across the group. Um, one very nice feature is um, if it's, it, this is actually a mesh network instrument, so basically if for some reason one of the instruments gets isolated, the signal is broken, there's a substantial memory on board, what will happen is the instrument will actually 
take all of the readings, store them on board, and then when the wireless is regained, they transmit and pass it on again. The benefit of having a master is that um, if the uh, trial is quite long term, you can deploy an entire group um, and you can return periodically, plug in a USB and capture the entire set all from one instrument. So it's really quite quick. Um, you can have multiple groups. Uh, we advise um, uh, 20 slaves with every master, um, but you can have multiple masters even in the same environment and they avoid each other. So. One thing that we've done is try to um, make it much easier for the user, the consultant, to actually monitor within the building. Um, the other aspect is giving the ability for the consultant to not only collate that information, but make use of it and build reports um, in a quick and efficient manner. There's a couple of ways that we've done this. One is um, you are able to graph multiple instruments, not only multiple instruments, but actually multiple sensors as well, across a single graph, um, which gives you a, a really quick I, uh, insight as to what is actually going in, on within the environment with all the parameters as well. But also at the single press of a button, the software for instance can actually export those uh, graphs as images which can then be placed straight away into reports. Um, so that is very, very quick. You, you don't have to export all your information into a spreadsheet first and then create gra graphs. You can literally just at the press of a button have an image of the graphed information place, uh, exported and then placed straight into a document. Um, another aspect of the software in, in Corvus PC is that we have uh, a very clever feature uh, which is a mapping system which um, if once you've actually taken your data you may have had 15, 20 instruments laid out in a, in a building. What you can actually do with our software is you can actually import an image. Now this image could be hand-drawn, it could be an official layout of a building, uh, it could be a diagram. Um, we accept many different functions, it could be a bitmap, JPEG, whatever the form. You drag it into the instrument software, in the Corvus PC, and with your data set you can actually, uh, down the side of the screen is listed all of the instruments within that data set and you can drag those instruments to the location on the map. Now what that allows you to do then is to run through the data set and you can actually see a graphical representation of the VOCs as they move through the building. Um, but beside each and every um, point uh, are also list listed live readings of the temperature, barometric pressure and humidity as well. So you can literally see movement of VOCs going right through the building. One thing I can't emphasize enough is the importance of continuous data. Um, you can have uh, an engineer walking around with a handheld instrument, but in effect he gets a single snapshot uh, in a single location. Um, events can occur, um, spraying or spillage of a solvent, anything can kind of happen. Um, and if you've only got an individual point, then in effect is completely missed. Um, by having continuous data, you get very high quality data. You can monitor 24-7 whether the occupants are there or they're not there, and even to the extent that you can even identify what effects the occupants are having on the environment.